can't believe there's a ship here. Yurik, wait! Hidden beneath the island, the wrecked ship lay. Judging by its rotting hull, it could have been there for an eternity. Maybe we can go this way. Yurik, wait here. I'll check it out. Hey! I told you to wait! Great. This looks like the right way. Hey, I never asked you to come with me, remember? Save your strength. I can feel the poison. Rania isn't here. What now? There could be an antidote around here somewhere. Stay here. I'm gonna go and look for one. I'll be back soon. Don't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> I don't plan to. Okay, I'm going. I'm the only one who can save Yurik. I have to do something. I can't waste any time. There must be an antidote. 
Got it. Hold on, Yurik. Huh. Yurik, how are you doing? Looks like I owe you. I'll pay you back somehow. No, forget about it. I mean, I can't count how many times your magic has saved me. That's my job. It's what I'm paid for. But you're only here because I made a big fuss about it. It's not the same. We're friends, right? It's normal to help each other. Right. Up you get. Let's climb up here. Try not to push yourself, okay? Yurik, did you hear something just now? Nothing. Don't tell me you're scared. Of course not. It's just... I get the feeling we're being watched. Above us. Two of them. It's me! Dagrin! Why are you here? Huh. Marania too! Why am I here? Why are you here? I'm so glad that you're both safe. I was getting so worried about you. Well, Yurik, are you gonna tell them why we're here? Forget it. I'm sure you have your reasons. It's pretty narrow up ahead. Let's split into two teams. Zale, which door do you want to take? Then I'll take the right. Zale, you're on the other side. Marania, you're with me. Yurik, go with Zale. What are they eating to get so big? What do you think? I can't be the first people to visit this place.
Zale, I'm going ahead. Zale, Yurik, good job. I'm glad so. Is this the ship's name? It's so dirty, I can't read it. There's no need to read it. I already know. This is my father's ship. Your father's? He was the greatest sailor on the whole island. Every day he set sail before the crack of dawn. He protected our island. I was always really proud of my father. I remember it was a freezing morning and the fog was incredibly thick. That was when pirates attacked our island. All the men went fearlessly to protect the village, but my father never returned home. There were rumors that he knew about the attack and fled for his life, but I couldn't believe them. I didn't want to believe them. But secretly, I always asked myself, what if he did run away? Me and my mother had to leave the village after that. It was a brutal journey. And while we were traveling, my mother, she died. Yurik, forget the rumors. What do you believe? Did he run away? I don't know, but I have to find out. Then let's go. There's got to be some clues left. We'll find out the truth. Is this a dead end? No. The captain's quarters are definitely here somewhere.
What's this smell? It smells good. What is it? Hey, look. The table served. Wait. That means someone's still alive. Oh, let's tuck in. Oh, please. Don't think about it, Marania. It might be poisoned. Dad! Yurik! I guess he's still young. Maybe we don't know Yurik as well as we think we do. This must be it. Yurik, are you okay? No doubt about it, Dad. This is Dad's writing. It's been a week since we've been adrift. We still we haven't, haven't seen land, land, and the crew are in a terrible state. No mast, no rudder. The ship is like a huge coffin, bobbing up and down on the waves. All hope is lost for us. So Dad was shipwrecked. But how? Why? The skies were totally clear. That's the signal. Got it! They made that fake food, too. What the heck? Oops! Oops! Dagren? It's me! You're so mean! It's like a child. 
changing into us. What's going on? Pathetic. Look closely, you can see the difference. Even if they change, their eyes don't. If they go red, they're that. Ow! Oh. Whoops. It's fine. Just watch it. So we have to pay attention when we're fighting. on their hill circles, just take the order. Yurik, are you okay?
circle in the mirror. Oh! It, it worked! We wanted to move differently to Zale. That's the signal. Got it! what we do. Bet they made that fake food, too. Huh. What the heck? Ouch! Dragon, it's me. I see me. It's like they're changing into us. What's going on? Pathetic. Look closely, you can see the difference. Even if they change, their eyes don't. They go red, then that ow! Oh. Whoops. It's fine, just watch it. So we have to pay attention when we're fighting. Ouch! It's so rough. Circles, just give the order. Hey, you know it's me, right? But I have no regrets. Together, my men and I defeated that giant monster, and of this I am truly proud. I think some other monsters headed towards the island, but I have good faith that the villagers fought them away. However, the foul monster we bested was of a different caliber. No one could have faced it but us. Though no one in the village will ever know, my men and I fulfilled our duty as warriors. And so I leave behind this my final log. If someone should read this, I implore you to let the villagers know of our fate. Tell them we fought bravely until the bitter end. 
and please tell my beloved wife and son. The two of you were in my thoughts until the very end. And I love you dearly. Father, Dad, he died to protect us. I finally learned the truth about my dad. Thank you. Everything changed for Yurik that day. His cold and cynical heart finally began to warm, thanks to his father's words and the kindness of his friends. With a warm smile of genuine gratitude, Yurik started to come to terms with his past. Zale, about what you did back then. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think I was confused about a lot of things. I'm sorry. You've got it wrong, Yurik. At times like this, there's no need to say sorry. You just say thank you. Yes, of course. Sorry, I mean, thank you. What are you doing down here, Marania? I found some rare medicinal herbs. I was just examining them. No, oh, you're right. I don't recognize any of these. I remember when I was young. They used to grow everywhere. Don't you think these flowers are beautiful too? In the forest where I grew up, when it was spring, blossoms like these would dance across the whole sky. Though, of course, that forest no longer exists. Because of the war? No, I don't actually know the reason. It was as if the forest had simply lost the energy to go on living. It just... withered away. That's why I set out on this journey. To find out the reason why. But no matter where I go, I see the same thing happening. All of the world's forests, and even the land itself, slowly die. And you think this island has escaped that fate somehow? So it would seem. If I could go ashore and investigate further, I might be able to learn something new. What? But... This was the whole reason you set out on this journey, right? If there's any chance of finding out why the land is dying, I think you should take it. Thank you, Zale. 